The Blacklist returned to television in 2023, but the 10th season would also be the show's final one. This was disappointing news for fans. Fortunately, it's evident that the program is going out in style because the last season has already welcomed back well-known actors and unforgettable blacklisters. Stacy Keats will reprise his role as Robert Vesco, Red's former mentor and infamous con artist, in the upcoming new episode on March 12th. Robert Vesco himself will also make an appearance. Keach discussed his appearance in the last season with Cinema Blend. The last time Stacy Keach appeared on the blacklist was during Red's encounter with Vesco back in season 9, which was a significant episode for both Vesco and Aram and Wrestler. Vesco was apprehended and likely taken to jail, while Red was left free but without the money Vesco stole. He and his former mentee didn't really say goodbye nicely. To find out how they reunited and whether any grudges were harbored, viewers will have to wait and see the next new episode, titled The Four Guns, but the guest star had nothing but positive things to say about working with James Spader once more. Although Keach didn't initially realize that season 10 would be the last, he told Cinema Blend that he was thrilled to be able to return for the final season. He went on, I enjoy working with James, and I enjoy the bond that we have built through the years and over the few episodes that we have worked together. Red Reddington is such a distinctive character, and James did a fantastic job inventing him. He reminds me a lot of Moriarty, and Vesco was the ideal foil for him because, as we all know, he was a shady figure. His mysterious past sort of suited Reddington's style because both of them were pretty hanky-panky personalities. Hanky-panky is a great way to characterize some of the nefarious activities that Red has engaged in on the blacklist, as well as what Vesco apparently engaged in in his earlier years. Red is undoubtedly a unique character on network television and Red often exhibits a different side from the standard blacklister when Stacy Keach's con guy is around. The performer went on to contrast Vesco and Red. They like getting into trouble for themselves. Even though they were on the wrong side of the law, both of them possessed an interesting kind of morality that was superior than the law. Not awful people, they weren't. They were moral. They had morals. They had consciences, which is extremely uncommon in the modern world. Red and Vesco have each engaged in a number of evil deeds throughout their criminal lives. Yeah, but there's a good reason Red has a lot of supporters and has been an anti-hero for a decade now rather than a villain. The two men each have their own particular brand of morality, as Stacy Keach put it. The FBI agents don't follow the letter of the law, but they also don't have to be concerned that they'll go too far. Without such characters, what would the blacklist be like? Vesco is one of the few individuals in the entire world who can consistently make Red grin. But he is also a swindler, and should never be trusted. Let's recall Vesco's exhilarating tenure on The Blacklist. In season 6 of The Blacklist, viewers first meet Red's mentor, Robert Vesco, who is portrayed by Stacy Keach. Vesco is a fictional character based on the same named crooked financier in real life. Vesco's notorious reputation had a big impact on Red. Red has only ever been duped once by Vesco who once tricked him out of his entire life savings to invest in a ranch. Red never forgave Vesco for stealing his money and making off with it. Vesco was an infamous felon who caused a number of political crises in the 1970s. He stole $200 million from the Federal Communications Commission and then gave some of it to Nixon's campaign in the belief that the Attorney General would drop the charges as a result of the payment. What did Vesco do when, however, that didn't occur? He left the nation. After that, Vesco led a lavish lifestyle, relaxing in style all around South America, until he purportedly passed away in 2007. But did he? Red learned of Vesco's alleged discovery of the De La Cruz, a Spanish ship that sank in the 1,700 seconds and contained valuables, while he was imprisoned. Red felt certain Vesco faked his death after discovering the wanted prize since Vesco always said if he found the ship, he'd go off the grid. As many fans of The Blacklist are well aware, Red enjoys a good old-fashioned treasure hunt. Red told the task force that he thought Vesco had disappeared and that a DNA test on the cadaver in his grave had shown that his death had been staged. Vesco is located and picked up by Red in Nova Scotia, Canada after Red tracks him down. Red was unmistakably irate over Vesco robbing him and expressed suspicions that he was in possession of De La Cruz's treasure. Vesco ought to have been able to reimburse Red with that kind of money. Vesco acknowledged that because of his covert nature, he had never been able to search for the treasure, but he did know where to look for the clue trail. So, with the aid of their convict friends, Red and Vesco embarked on a joyous journey to retrieve the hidden gold, eventually discovering it beneath a New Orleans opera theater. Yet since old habits are hard to break, Vesco's cunning ways returned as soon as he set his sights on that gold. 
Don't worry though, Red gets his comeuppance in Season 9 of The Blacklist after Vesco reappeared under the alias Giovanni. Vesco was appointed steward of the Supremo Priori Knighthood, a group of vigilantes that committed rare artifact theft under false pretenses. The task force located Vesco after learning his cover identity after Red recognized Vesco's mo. Vesco was eventually imprisoned following years of notoriety. Although many blacklisters are ex-enemies of Red, his protege has the utmost respect for Vesco. Red's behavior and illegal lifestyle were undoubtedly influenced by Vesco, and the respect shared by the two con men gave the blacklist formula a hilarious twist. Vesco is one of the most illustrious criminals on the program and will remain so forever. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.